Barack Hussein Obama, I tell everyone, this God has given me the wisdom and understanding to do so, that this man is no other than 666. Taking Revelations 13, 18, the chapter and the verse, and I quote, Hearing his wisdom, let him that have understanding count the number of the beast, for it's also the number of a man. Using ordinal gematria, English gematria, which is using the 26 letters in the English alphabet. Irrefutable proof to the greatest mathematical minds that ever existed. I bring to you the understanding. 1318, everyone, divided by 36, shows in the beginning of the calculation the number 36. I bring to your understanding, everyone, that the name Barak, when the six letters of his first name is changed into the numerical value in the English alphabet, not the Hebrew alphabet, the 22 letters, but I'm talking about the English alphabet made of 26 letters, coincidentally show 3, 6 when added. B is 2, A is 1, R is 18, A is 1, C is 3, and K is 11. When adding Barack, you get 36. The numerical value for Barack is 36. His height is 61. Taking Revelations 13, 18 divided by 3, 6. Mentioned in Revelations 13, the 3, 6. You come back with the answer 36.61. Google Barack Hussein Obama the second. Tell me if you do not come back with the answer. Six one four, the forty fourth president of the United States of America. The word beast found woven inside Revelations thirteen eighteen is pivotal because. The word beast is the same age, the number for beast, the numerical value, 47, when added. It's the very same age that the beast, speaking of this man, the word man is 28. Short and simple, taking 13, 18, the chapter and verse, speaking of the text the text reads hearing his wisdom let him to have understanding count calculate mathematically arithmetic using arithmetic mathematically disclose as God has given the understanding to one individual as myself. 1318 is just not a random number for Revelations 1318. I bring to your attention all you Bible scholars, theologians, doctors, PhDs, and seminar school, lawyers, judges. All those under the sound of my voice watching, listening to this recording. That 1318 is connected to 36. As sure as I'm making you this video. Not saying that man is worthy of this knowledge that I'm sharing. No man truly is worthy of it, but the one who God has 
using to share with you. I would not even say that I'm really worthy, but I thank God for giving me the understanding. 1318, when divided by the number for man, M is 13, A is 1, and N is 14, adding the word man across. 13 plus 1 plus 14 is 28. I kid you not, I tell you, this is a serious matter. 1318 divided by 28, everyone, is going to give you the number 47. 0. 0.07142857. The first two numbers before the decimal point is 47. Now, what is so deep and significant about this is Barack Hussein Obama was 47 years old when he became the president of Babylon. The 44th president of Babylon. Four times four, everyone, is 16. The word man is 28. Now, taking 1318, everyone, dividing by the number of man, 28, shows you 47. Would you know, taking 1318, divided by 47, will give you the number for man, 28. Is the answer point zero four two five five three one nine one? Everyone, Revelation thirteen eighteen is one of the most magnificently calculated chapter and verse I have ever come across that God has shown me. I have never found any such great dynamic arithmetic with no other verse in the Bible other than let's say Genesis chapter 1 who has a numerical value of 2701 37, the number for hell, and then reverse 73, multiply, gives you 2701, as it is this year, 2017. Just numbers rearranged. And I'm not saying that God is coming at you, but what I am saying is that it's clear. The Revelations 13, 18. was mathematically composed by God to expose the 44th president of the United States of America before there was an America. Before 1492, when Christopher Columbus asked the teaching school sailed, set sail to America. Although Christopher Columbus, as I have found out, never found America. And America is named after America Vespucci, a Portuguese explorer. But more profound and prolific is Revelations 13, 18. Mind-boggling. Mathematically. Mind-boggling. I give all honor, glory, and praise to God. For through the archives of time to protect such a verse. A verse that exposes a man so cursed by God. 
the God, the great genius, has preserved that one verse in the Bible to expose this 44th president who, in his presidency, signed a same-sex law of marriage into law justifying the 14th Amendment. Ironically, the number for man is 28. He would go for two terms as president up to eight years. This man, this Obama, whose name could be found in the word abomination, has got America in so much trouble with God. There's, there's no one. Nothing can be done. To get America out of the trouble. That has been done. To the harm that has been done. And you turn around and you give. This beast a noble peace prize. You turn around and you give something connected to Lucifer. Lucifer taking the letters of his name and multiplying them is three six seven four one six zero. Does not deserve a Nobel Peace Prize. How can the world be so deceived? Where is the wise? America, you are in so much trouble with God. Did you not ever read Leviticus chapter 20 verse 13? You have presidents at well, Harvard Law School graduates as this 44th president clearly is in his biography, autobiography, you name it, recognizing him as a Harvard Law School graduate. He appointed two Supreme Court justices, helped support them for so they can support his same-sex law marriage. If God overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah, which he clearly did, in the book of Genesis, in the beginning, what do you think he would do in the end? Barack Hussein Obama, whose last name can be found inside the word abominations, who is in Revelation. Who is Revelation 13, 18? That is your number, Mr. Barack Hussein Obama. God is coming after you. And there is nothing you can do to make it right. You should have never touched that with a fine tooth comb. You shouldn't touch that with a 10 foot pole. I must be like Jonah and run in Nineveh and tell you the truth. You have cursed America, doomed yourself, your so called significant other. That has never come out and disproven the fact that that is a man, whatever that may be. You know, and that so-called first lady knows what's what 
is the 100% truth. You are no no you are no more of a commander in chief, but you are a chief sinner. The world may bow down to you, but I tell you, and I will tell you to your face, face to face. And if you met me face to face, you wouldn't like me, and I sure would like you. But I'll tell you the truth of the whole matter. God doesn't like you neither. Not even before you was born. You were no better off than Judas Iscariot. What commander in chief are you? But the hordes of hell. You are in no better situation than Beelzebub. Than Balak in the Old Testament. The cry of America has reached to heaven. And God and the angels will come down. With a fury unknown to man in modern times. Worse than Noah's flood. I mentioned in nothing else but the day of judgment. That will be upon the seven heads and ten horns and ten crowns that you wear, Mr. President. Heaven knows who you are. Though you seek God's face with tears and crying, you can go to anywhere you want to go and try to repent. There's no repentance that we've given unto you. As sure as your name is the word hell, 5760, when multiplied, shows another equivalency to all the letters of your first middle and last name, which is total 18 letters. You to hear the word for the prophet speak as God has allowed me to speak to you. You are doomed. Your law, Mr. Harvard Law, student, has helped doom you and America to the very depths of hell. I just ask you to take out your calculator. A lot of jokes you made since being president. This break old big celebrity status you even rode around and call called the beast. You told on yourself and America was too blind to see you. Five Doves dot com knows who you are. John T N G knows who you are. I believe that's how you pronounce the individual's name. And several other inf- individuals know your name. Those are the real celebrities, Mr. Ex President. Those are the ones who really know who you are. Know your identity. We know your identity. Heaven knows who you are. But under the sound of my voice is sure certain that even if you hear this or listen to this video, I promise you, as God has told me, let you know. You are no celebrity. And where you will spend eternity with Judas Iscariot, the one who betrayed Jesus. You'll wish that I could take the tip of my tongue, take the tip of my finger, and dip it in water and soothe your tongue. George, your number is 666, Mr. Barack Hussein Obama, or three. Your name's added is 163. You are the 361. You were the 361 before your mother's mother's family was born. 
before they even made their way to America. You will be the one who will betray Jesus. Just know that. Just as Judas Iscariot. What is Judas Iscariot's end? What do you think will be your end? God comes and reveals to the world that you were the one who deceived them. I thank God I'm not you for the grace of God. I thank God I am who I am and that he is who he is. And collectively, God has given me the wisdom that he knew as the ancients of days before you were even a day old, before, America, before the world was a day old, God knew on that day, June 26, 2015, the two judges, Supreme Court judges, will help you get that law passed. So shall it come to pass. Your destruction, the destruction of America, who is doing nothing up but getting that power from the devil and riding the beast. And you riding the car called the beast. You mock the very same nation that elected you president. They can't even see what grave trouble you got them in. Nothing you will do to get them out of it. Unless the commander in chief. You're going to meet God, the commander in chief of heaven. And Michael, not your Michael, Michael the Archangel, with the trump of God. And you in America, in order to hold to your homosexual nonsense, will be done away with. America will be no more, just as the Roman army and all those Caesars. Or no more. Revelation thirteen eighteen. It's no other but you, Barak, lightning. Jesus said, "I beheld Satan fall as lightning from heaven." I wonder when we take the whole string of letters fallen angels it comes back with the answer. Is it not 675? Is not your name Barack Hussein Obama? You may fool some of the people all the time but you cannot fool God another of the time. And the word time, T-I-M-E, is 47. So as the word beast is 47. And the name Lucifer, quite clearly, is 74. So is Jesus, 74. All that is common knowledge, but they didn't have enough knowledge to know just who you are. But the ones that do know who you are. All the glory goes to God. Because they know. You are the one spoken of. Before your parents even had a thought in their mind. Take that into consideration. Revelation 13, 18. Divided by 3, 6. Shows 3, 6.61. You are 3, 6. You are 6, 1. You are 185 centimeters tall. 18.5. 47 years old. The same number for beasts. You ascend to the throne of the highest office known to man in the United States of America. You were some type of pontiff, some king. And you felt regal. And you acted regal. But to God, 
you are nothing but imposter. And a deceiver. And no matter how much money you made from your Obamacare, all the bombing care in the world won't be able to save you from the wrath of God. No health insurance plan will save you from the wrath of God. I do not applaud your same-sex law of marriage. Nor does heaven or those devout Christians, born-again believers, applaud your same-sex law of marriage. We abhor that law. It is hated by God in the Leviticus chapter 20 verse 13 says the punishment is death. You have no conviction, no remorse for what you have done. God will have none for you neither. The Bible clearly says, read it for yourself. It is a terrible thing to fall into the hands of angry God. Thirteen, eighteen. When divided with the number for man, twenty-eight shows forty-seven. The number for beast, coincidentally, four times seven. The number for beast multiplied is twenty-eight. The number for man is like going back and forth. Two times eight. The number for man is sixteen. In reverse, read it right to left. As you know, Arabic reads, in Hebrew reads, right scholar. Is six one your height? Are you not six one? Take thirteen eighteen divided by your height six one. What do you see? The first three numbers of the calculation two one point six. Get it? The day you was born, the two hundred sixteenth day of the year, August fourth. Leave it 149 days left in the year 1961, which was not a leap year. Thirteen eighteen divided by six one shows two one six. The first three numbers in the calculation. As I told you, one thing I will, one thing I didn't share with you, but I will show you this. The word lie will multiply. The Bible says, Thou shalt not lie, shows the age you were. While you was a 44th president. With the same sex law of marriage. Was made law. Either 53 or 54. Either while you was 50 to 4. After it was made law. It still is a lie. Take Revelation 13. 18 divided by the number of man. 28. You see 47. The number of beasts. First two numbers in the calculation. Taking Revelation 13, 18, divided by 47, the number for beasts, the age you were when you became the 44th president of the United States, you see, in the beginning, the answer, 28. You are a genius, right? Refute this. Revelation 13, 18, divided by 3, 6, shows 3, 6, point six one 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 one. You see your number in there? 
B A R A C K. Three six. When added, all your names added. One sixty three. You see that in there. Taking thirteen eighteen divided by six six. Do you see something familiar? Nineteen. See it? Nineteen six. See it? The middle of the year you was born. Nineteen sixty one. Nineteen sixty one. Nineteen sixty one. Just a coincidence, right? Taking thirteen eighteen divided by all the years Jesus lived thirty three years. You see the three nine nine in the beginning of the calculation. That's no other than USA three nine nine. See it now, USA three nine nine. Do that again. How did we do that? Taking thirteen, eighteen, chapter verse Revelation thirteen eighteen, divided by all the years Jesus lived. You see how we get three nine nine, three nine nine to begin the calculation. I showed you that's the USA. God is talking about the present. The president and ex president right at the moment of the USA. Flip over the calculation. Do you see three six, three six, three six, three six, three six? Or oh, that's just a coincidence. Thirteen eighteen talks about the three six, and you see the three six going across. Coincidence? I think not. Taking thirteen eighteen, Revelation thirteen eighteen divided by six seven five. The rock is six letters long, Hussein. The middle name is seven letters long, and Obama your last name is five letters long. What do you see? Six one. Right? Aren't you six one? Flipping the calculation over. Count the sixes. One, two, three. You see six, six, six? Six, six, six. And don't you see? Watch this. Remember that was a six when you turn it the other way? See something? Nineteen. And then, see the six? One. Was you born 1961? Is your name Barack Hussein Obama? Aren't you? 61. If that doesn't convince you, maybe this will. Taking 216, the day you was born, divided by your height in centimeters, 185. Centimeters is, look at the beginning and the calculation, 6 foot 1 inch tall. Right? Is it your name Barack Hussein Obama? Barack Hussein Obama? Barack Hussein Obama? Six letters in Barack, seven in Hussein, five in Obama. What is that doing connected with 216 in your height in centimeters? That's not clear enough convincing proof for you. Take this for instance 216 divided by your height, 61. Don't you see? The 666 in the calculation. Go from beginning to the end. 36. Aren't you the 36? Isn't there 149 days left in the year you was born? Multiply 1 times 4 times 9. 1 times, times 4. Equals three six, correct? Is it Barack B D O A C C Z B 
E R A C. It's Barack 36. It's all three numbers of your name 163. Aren't you the 36? Don't you see your name? I pointed out to you the chapter and the verse. Revelations 13 18. You see it? You also find it in Lucifer. Name Lucifer, L U C I F E R. Shows the 18 letters of your name. Shows the year you was born, 1961. Shows the three letters of your name, the, your, your, all three names added, 163. Shows your height, 61. Shows the chapter and verse, Revelation 13, 18. Coincidence? I think not. Something further astonishing. Taking the, the name Lucifer when multiplies three six. Coincidence three six, just like you are three six, seven four one six zero. Taking your height six one. Look at the end of the calculation. Eight four shows the day you were born, August fourth. Just a play on numbers? I think not. Taking Lucifer when multiply. Divided by six shows the day you were born, 216th day of the year, and it shows your number, three six. Take your number, the numbers of your name, Barack Hussein Obama, and divided by Lucifer. Did you see the age you was? When it before the same sex floor marriage passed, 54. Don't you see? The presidency, 44th president. Did you see, take a Lucifer divided by 666. Don't you see the, the number equivalents to your name? The rock is six letters long. Hussein is seven letters long. And Obama is five letters long. The rock is six letters long. I'm saying it's seven letters long. And Obama's five letters long. And aren't you six one? And aren't you 55 years old while I'm making this video about you? In 1318. This is the prophet Lamar Keith. The one that's what God has shown me to do.